Hey guys and girls, this is a an extremely difficult video for me to shoot and post this evening, but I felt like I had to because you're part of the Jimmy Houston Outdoors family, and this family is in a valley right now. Uh, I'm sitting in the parking lot. It's really, really windy. I like to shot this outside. I hate to shoot it in a car, but it's so windy. It's so windy. Um, at the OU Medical Center in Oklahoma City, my beautiful wife, Chris, had a brain aneurysm <laughs> and a massive stroke. And, uh, She's not doing well at all. She's not regained consciousness. Uh, this happened on a Monday evening, the day after Easter. This is Tuesday. Uh, not quite 24 hours later. And uh, I, it's something I just had to share. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. We put the situation in God's hands, and God will uh, either heal her or take her to glory, to heaven. Uh, which would probably be the, the very best thing could happen for her, the worst thing could happen for me. And the entire family. But. I got up yesterday morning, Monday morning, and before daylight, and took off to Alabama, 771 mile drive to go do an in studio shoot with my buddies at Southeastern Pond Management. I had uh, driven about 120 miles from there. The last time I talked to Chris, I was about 120 miles away from where I was staying last night. And uh, I talked to her about three or four times during the day. Uh, Jamie and Mandy and Jordan was down there, uh, along with um, a couple of our friends, and uh, they were fishing. I'd taken them all fishing Sunday evening. We caught a lot of fish, and, and they were fishing. Uh, and we visited with all of them before. Well, Jamie and, and uh, Jamie and Chris, Chris and I visited a lot before I left Monday morning. Uh, last thing I did was kiss her goodbye. <laughs> I told her I loved her. <laughs> And, uh, and I took off and went. And uh, the last time I talked to her, she was fine all day long. The last time I talked to her, uh, we talked about quite a few different things. And she said, how far are you? And I said, I'm only about 120 miles away. So she said, well, at least you're getting really, really close. And she said, you can maybe watch a basketball game tonight. She said, well, remember, we got a baseball game too. And I said, yeah, I know, but I need to get some sleep. I only got a couple hours of sleep last night and get a little sleep so I can uh, work tomorrow. Then I was going to spend a couple of days in Alabama, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, visiting my buddy Red Berry, uh, who's moved up to Coleman, Alabama. And uh, not very long after that, I got a telephone call from Sherry, and she said, Dad, pull over to the side of the road. And uh, I said, what's wrong? She said, Dad, pull over. And she told me, she said, Jamie said mom had a stroke. And evidently, evidently right after I had talked to her, it's when she had that stroke and uh, Jamie came in and found her. And they, they called a paramedic uh, ambulance, which we subscribed to, and they air flighted her to Oklahoma City. You know, OU Medical Center, a great hospital here in Oklahoma City, a great, great hospital here in Oklahoma City. And uh, and I was on an interstate down there between Birmingham and Memphis, almost to Birmingham. And uh, I told Sherry, I'm on my way back. And uh, she said, you drive careful. I don't need both of you getting hurt. And, uh, and I said, I'm turning around right here. I'm turning around right here. And she said, don't. You go to the next exit, turn around. Don't turn around. And I, I did. I, I just went across the two lanes of traffic and went down in the inner in the ditch and up on the other side and headed back and I got back here to Oklahoma City about 4:30 this morning 
and uh, and got to go see her. I've been with her all day. They've taken tons of tests and CAT scans, two or three of those, and she's got blood on her brain. She can move the right side. <laughs> That's all. She can't talk. It's one of those valleys that a man can't prepare himself for. It's one of those times when you need more faith than you have. It's one of those times where you're powerless, you're helpless. No matter how big a man you are, you're not big enough. Only God's big enough. The reports we're getting from the doctors are not good. We're, we're trusting God. The doctor's report's not the final report. He doesn't have the final say. What happens? God has the final say. I'm trusting God no matter what. I'm praising God no matter what. I'm relying on God no matter what. Chris and I have lived our lives with our only hope being Jesus. We've lived our lives so that one day when we close our eyes here on earth, we we'll open our eyes looking at in the eyes of Jesus. And I don't know if that will happen right now or not. I prayed and asked God to give her more time with me for my benefit. I don't know God's plans, but I'm accepting them, whatever they are. I've I've got a wonderful family. Sherry's been with me all the way. Jamie and Mandy was here when I got here this morning and they had to go back home this morning. They, they only allow one person up there in intensive care and they've made an exception to the rule and allowed Chris and I, uh, Sherry and I both up there. Sherry's been with me there every second. I about run out of tears. <laughs> I just wanted to share with y'all. I went through all of the comments today and answered several, put a heart on all of them, read every comment, just so you know. Uh, we have the catch of the day uh, shot all the way up to April 17th, Jordan's doing April 16th, the last one that Chris shot with the camera was April 15th, which will forever be my favorite one. I think that might have been the one where I was doing a little preaching to myself and she's making faces at me like she does. But I want to do my best. I'm going to do my best to have every one of them posted up there every morning at 5 o'clock throughout the rest of the year. We're working on that new devotional. Uh, I've, I've written it. We're in the editing part right now and picking out the cover. The covers they sent me were beautiful, but I didn't like them. Uh, I'm going to do my best to post a video every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday like we have been doing. We're going to try to continue, and hopefully, hopefully Chris will be back out here with us. I can't do the deer videos like she does, but I'll try. I'll do my best. The most popular videos that we have, and uh, I'll even try to get one this Friday somehow. I may drive down to the hundred miles down to the ranch from here. I might drive down there and shoot some video and just share with y'all this week uh, what the deer are doing. Chris loved those deer. Hopefully the doctors are wrong. She's got a lot of swelling on her brain that's affecting obviously 
she can't talk and can't open her eyes and she can only move her left side or she can move she holds my hand I've been holding her head all day I drove 1300 miles yesterday to hold her head <laughs> just to hold her head and we're going to do everything we can to keep that YouTube channel going and growing and keep that Facebook page going and growing and keep raising those deer uh, fishing keep that fishing show going I don't intend to quit anything. Chris wouldn't want me doing any of that. <laughs> Hopefully, she'll be back out here with us. The recovery, if we have one, the doctor said will be lengthy, perhaps months. Uh, a lot of rehabilitation if uh, we can bring her back into consciousness. She is sedated heavily now, so she may not be able to talk again, but. I'm going to tell you what, if she can't walk and she can't talk, I love her just as much. I'd, I'll take her back in a heartbeat like that. <laughs> I told God, whatever God, I'll take that, whatever. And uh, we're going to try to do everything like we've always done it and be positive about everything because that's the kind of woman Christine is. The kind of man I am. We're very, very positive. And we believe that God gives us joy and peace every single day. We have these valleys. Every Christian has these valleys. I uh, went through a very similar situation with my mom. She's 58 years old and she had a brain tumor or aneurysm, I, I can't remember which, and she was in the hospital or in a nursing home for quite a while. Uh, with consciousness and not being able to move or talk, and just moved her eyes. My dad spent every day, every single day with her. Losing my dad when he was 68, it's a major loss. Lana, three years ago, almost, almost right now, just about a week ago, three years ago, was killed in a car wreck. Uh, Chris's mom died of the exact same thing, a stroke. Uh, So we've had our valleys. We've had financial valleys. We've had job valleys. We've had all kinds of valleys. But God has created miracles in our family before. And I'm expecting a miracle right here. May not happen, but I'm sure expecting one. And we put it in God's hands, taking it totally out of mind. He's given us an incredibly great medical center here with neurosurgeons and doctors and impressive RNs and the equipment like I cannot even imagine the equipment that they've got now that they're taking care of her and they've got people in there with her. They're just doing an incredibly tremendous job trying to trying to take care of her and uh, I'm believing that, that she's going to come too and I'll see that beautiful smile <laughs> and she'll talk to me <laughs> just like she talks to those deer. She talks to the deer like that all the time. She talks to me like that some of the time, though, and it's pretty special when she does. I'd give a million dollars to see that smile. The brown eyes. And irrespective, no matter what, God's in control. God's told me that all things will work the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose. I love God and Chris loves God. All things are going to work together for her, including including this stroke, this aneurysm. And all things are going to work together for me. Guys and girls, I love you. <laughs>